Welcome to this MagicAd and Modisoft Electrical OM webinar. Today we will be going through the features of MagicAd and Electrical OM and showing you how they integrate within Revit. First of all, we'll be going through the MagicAd features at an early stage design stage. This can be from installing products as we're going to do now. And at the minute we're installing switchboards into the project and what we can do is place these and give them a reference and if we place one more here we can then add another reference and now using our MagicAD cable trade tool we can model out this ladder to connect these boards together from here what we can then do is power up our boards, give them a phase and do the same with this one. And now we can connect these boards up and you can see here at the minute we haven't got a cable length within MagicAD but if we scroll further down on the properties we can see there we have a Revit cable length. With the Revit cable packets we can get a more accurate cable length and using this automatic tool where we can click the start and the end of the cable tray these cable packets will then be drawn on top of the cable tray and then we will do a little bit of tidying up at the end and connect them up to the other board. What will happen here is because we've got this cable packet now we can then accurately give a cable length that integrates any rise and falls within the tray and then using a the cable packet connection we can connect this board up to this packet and as you'll see here now if I scroll down to the supply cable length we now have the MagicAd cable length and up here you can see in the system browser we have now got that powered up and now we have the cable lengths for this board as well. Now what we're going to be moving on to is linking these spaces to switchboards using our MagicAd link spaces tool and if I click on this you can select a board and pick a phase and now once you press OK these spaces will now be linked to the relevant board that has been selected and you can see in this drop down you've got all the boards that have been placed and powered up in your model and if I just run through the rest of this these spaces we can then add the information to the boards and what's happening here is the loads are being pushed into the boards that have been selected in the model and these spaces all the loads within the spaces are being added to the boards and now once we've done this what we can do is we can jump on here and update the power in these spaces and if you select the system you can see here that for each phase within that board has been shown in the properties so once we've updated that using link spaces the power has been pushed to the relevant boards and you can see it's broken down into each phase and these loads are derived from the space and within Revit under manage and space building type you can now add these loads as a default within there and then these loads are then pushed into the board so that's where the loads when we're connecting the spaces up are input into the board from here when you've got these circuits up you can then set your wire types power power factors descriptions and also link voltage current and protective devices 
rather than filling out all this information every time, what you can do within the data set is fill out this information within the data set and then going through these systems on this set properties rather than going through each one. In the drop down there where it says circuit type and not defined, you can then use them customized uh, circuit types and bring them in and it will populate the data. We're going to export this data now using the electrical OM tab here, which opens a ribbon and the magic add tab, which will then open the options for export, whether we want early stage design or full design. And then we can also choose uh, within checklists of what which parameters we want to export to electrical OM. And then once we are happy with this criteria, we can close this and then go to the ribbon and export this information and you'll be notified if it's been successful. And then this is where we move into electrical OM. We are now going to synchronize the data from our MagicAD file into electrical OM. Both programs are currently active, Electrical OM in here and MagicAD within Revit. I'm going to go to the Revit options in Electrical OM and I'm going to choose Sync from Revit. And as you can see, it's been successful. As you can see, the tree network we saw within MagicAD has been redrawn within Electrical OM with a schematic of our MagicAD data. From here, we can go into the circuit edit tools and have a look at the various details entered within MagicAD. Here we can see the data that corresponds with the data within MagicAD. Here I've placed the two software side by side on a single screen as the two programs interact with each other in real time. We will be able to see in Electrical OM, any element that is selected will also be selected within MagicAD. Here you can see a match between the circuit edit within Electrical OM and the properties within MagicAD. Electrical OM and MagicAD are both running very dynamically within each other and within each other's environments. If within Electrical OM I need to make a change or add additional detail, I can. For instance, here we have a load on the switchboard and the load is currently at 71 amps based upon the data within MagicAD. If we select the protected device, the software has now identified that there are some compliance issues around this selected device that has been chosen within MagicAD. Through selecting this, you can see the total load currently being used within the distribution board. And I can now make changes needed within Electrical OM. For example, the protected devices here on screen. Once we've made and applied these changes, this detail will now show within the Revit model. Here you can see the information message has appeared to identify if we want to set the new parameters that we edited within EOM will appear in the MagicAD model. Once going into the circuit properties, we'll be able to see all the data within the parameters related to electrical OM model that had been placed in there. This can be done for multiple items simultaneously. We can now see various issues related to the current selections within the Revit model. Here we have variations in cable sizing and things like earthing, which currently do not comply with the regulations. We are now going to make some changes here and apply the detail directly into our MagicAD model. We can see all of our information, such as cable type, that has already been predefined from the MagicAD data. Things such as length has been included. So just finishing on some of these changes and then applying these changes. 
Then from electrical OM, we can then do these changes on a mass scale by using the circuit detailing and using our table here. So now them changes have been made and dynamically pushed across to our model. We are going to be opening up our MagicAd model now and populating the full stage design and using our install products within MagicAd to then install our luminaires to our model. These uh, families come from our MagicAd cloud and we can use these install tools for example, at the minute we're using our array tool using spaces. So you can see we can click on the spaces and we, we can then array them. We can also change these arrays and update as and when we need them. And then I'll just show you skipping through the different views and levels where we're adding our fittings. And then from there, we can then power them up and add them to circuits that are all syncing with the data previously used within Electrical OM. And as you can see here, we've got our systems. And if I open up here, you can see these are our devices. But if I go back to Electrical OM now and the MagicAD tab, we can now move this model stage to full design. And then with the check boxes, we can check which parameters that we want to export back to Electrical OM so that we can go through the full stage design on here. And these are just some of the parameters that are gonna be exported. So now if I, again, like previously, go to export all on the electrical OM tab, and I'll get a successful warning. And then from here, we're gonna go back into the electrical OM software. Now that we have our final circuits and elements powered in our MagicAd model, we are ready to bring them into Electrical OM. We are now going to import all the new circuit information that we have from the MagicAd model and synchronize that with Electrical OM as we did before, sync from Revit. All our new data has now been brought in and been added to our schematic. Here we can see that some of the new details of the schematic are overlapping with the original early stage design. This is because we are maintaining all the specific and particular positions that have been set by the user previously. We can now, however, simply reorder our schematic by selecting the board we want to reorder. Then all the elements downstream for this, we can use the auto refresh option. Although the final circuits are not physical within the schematic, you'll notice within the tree network, all of the final circuits are included from the update from the MagicAd model. The final circuits are not currently visible in the schematic because the system is set to be in compact mode. This means that the distribution circuits will show, but our final circuits will be hidden. By selecting either an individual board or multiple boards by dragging over them, we can leave the compact mode by going to the schematic functions and selecting the option to leave compact mode. Now let's take a closer look at how we can set the properties for running the calculation for our final circuits. Let's do this by taking a look at an individual circuit. In this example, I will select the new lighting circuits that have been brought in from the MagicAd model. Here I'm going to go to the protective devices where we can see a red warning markers that appear here that have an issue where we have requirements for an RCD to be installed in order for it to comply with BS7671. 
By selecting the change option under protected devices, this brings up the device database where from here I can select a protective device and in this case I'll use a RCBO which is 30 milliamps and a 10KA rating and a C curve. The warning related to the RCD has now been removed and before, as before as we saw in MagicAD, a model message will appear with the new parameters to be set as EOM. On a large model, however, it is inefficient to work through each individual circuit and apply all these various changes, particularly when you would the change are going to be common and repeating the non-compliances throughout the design. By going to the circuit details tab, you will be able to use the options here to make multiple changes to the circuits simultaneously throughout the design. When selecting any particular circuit board or circuit related to it, we are going to be able to see all the relevant details for the circuit. If you do make multiple changes on a project simultaneously, we have not been updating the MagicAD model as we go due to the amount of changes. However, we can run a mass set of updates to the model at once. To transfer the data back to the MagicAD model, simply select the Revit tab and export the results to Revit. We can then go back into our MagicAD model and import that data. Then when we go back to the electrical elements and select the electrical circuits, we, we will be able to see the EOM design calculations and information that we applied earlier in the design. So now that we have all our EOM information and design calculations you can see here and they've gone into the EOM parameters, what we can now do is use our MagicAD merge parameters tool to then merge these parameters into your MagicAD parameters so that you can then start using the MagicAD features. You can also do these with the EOM parameters as well. But what we're going to do here is select this system and you can see while we've used that merge in the MC parameters I've now moved the information from the EOM. Using this information now we can use our bill of materials feature where we can set up these power board circuits uh, schedules and in here you should have these set up in your localizations or you can produce them the shell yourselves and then as you can see here you have your panel your numbers your cables your supply your longest supply uh, protective devices and any RCDs within the project and you can add additional cells to these or any information in there. You can also update your circuits and use your power board schematics if you do use these and this is just one of the MagicAD ones for example and then you can update them and have your board schedules in there. That is the end of the demonstration today. Hopefully if you have any questions please do get into contact with us via the emails that Jamie will get, uh, provide for you at the end of the webinar.